This is your one and only Firespark81 with your daily dose of video goodness and welcome back to another informational Valheim video. Today, I'm going to teach you how to trap a y'all so you can farm blood clots. Let's get to it. Right from the top, let's talk about why you would want to do this. As it is right now, magic is extremely OP. The Staff of Embers and the Staff of Protection make you an unstoppable force. The only issue with this is you need to constantly eat food that gives you Eider so that you can actually use Use said staves. And all of the foods that give you Eider, with the exception of just eating raw mushrooms, take royal jelly, which is a somewhat finite resource. So that means if you are constantly eating these foods while you are out exploring, you are going to burn through all of your royal jelly relatively quickly. However, there is one good Eider food that you can make that will give you a decent amount of Eider while you are out exploring, and it does not take royal jelly, and that is the stuffed mushrooms, which can be crafted with three mage caps, one blood clot, and one turnip. The mushrooms and the turnips are easily farmable. In order to get the blood clots, you need to kill ticks. And it just so happens that there is a creature that spawns ticks infinitely, and that is the y'all. Meaning that all we need to do is capture one, and we can farm ticks forever, giving us an infinitely renewable eider food. So before I show you how to actually capture a y'all, I do want to point out that you don't necessarily need to capture one. You can harpoon them if you have a friend and have your friend stay underneath of them and stay towards the back of them. If they do this, the y'all should in most cases just kind of hang out over top of your friend and shut down a little bit. If you stand in front of the y'all while your friend is doing this, it will attack you and it will drop ticks, allowing you to farm ticks that way whenever you find a y'all in order to maximize the amount of ticks you get out of it. Do note that the ticks are an attack from the y'all. So the y'all has three attacks. It has a shake when something gets close to it. That's its melee attack. It has the fireball that we all know and love or mucus spray, whatever you want to call that thing that explodes, lights you on fire and does damage. And it drops ticks. In order to get it to drop ticks, it needs to see you and attack at range. After it does that a few times, it it will drop some ticks, go back to attacking at range, then go back to dropping ticks, rinse and repeat. But having your friend hold one of these relatively still while you try to farm ticks or just solo farming ticks from it, allowing it to fly around and attack and drop ticks is relatively dangerous. However, if you trap one, you pretty much eliminate all of that danger and you can just go farm it whenever you want. So let's talk about how to trap one. All right, so let me show you how to build this thing and we're going to do it in real time and capture a y'all. So I have one marked here and if you know where one spawns, if you've killed one, mark it on your map because it will respawn in that general area. So I know that there is one that spawns right here and I know that it, they do respawn because I verified it. I killed the one that spawns right here and then I waited. It takes about an in-game week or more for them to respawn since they made the changes to the y'all spawns. So it does take some time, but they should respawn in the same location or close to the location where you originally found them. So I'm going to build this in creative, but what I would advise you to do is if you know where one spawns, like I know it spawns here, set up a portal close by. I have one over there and just transport a bunch of stone and all the materials that you're going to need in order to build this. Also, you do not want to get too close to where it spawns. So I know that it spawns where I have it there marked on the map and I should be fine to construct this right and around this area it should be all right. I shouldn't attract the y'all. It's on over there out of render range. So the first thing I'm going to have to do is clear out all of these trees. So I'm going to do that real quick. All right. I got a bunch of the trees knocked down. Now, the next thing I'm going to do is flatten out the area. We want a nice, large, flat area to work with. All right. Now that I have a nice, large area and this may not be big enough, I may have to increase it a little bit more. I'm going to plan on how I want to do this. So the first thing I'm going to do is grab my hoe. We're going to swap over to the raised ground and I'm going to find where I want to start my first wall. And I want to start it right here. And the reason we're going to do this first is it's going to be our marker and it's going to allow us to know which way the terrain tiles are going, which is important. So, okay, that's actually great. They're going this way. So what we're going to do is we are just going to raise that 
all the way up as high as it'll possibly go. All right, there we go. That's our max height. Okay, so now I need to know how far across this has to go in order to fit the y'all in. So in order to do that, we are just going to grab a wood beam and we are going to place it like so and then place another one and that's it. That's all the distance you need in order to get a y'all in here. So now what we're going to do is make sure that the bottom of the other pillar that we are going to raise doesn't overlap. We need to make sure we give plenty of space so we're going to come over to right about here should be good and you can see we're pretty much dead on and now we're just going to raise this one until we get to the max now what we're going to do is we're going to come here to the side and we are going to place down a beam like that and we're going to do the same thing over here and this just helps to make sure that we get the right size we're eventually going to fill all of this in so once we've done that then we are going to do the same thing you don't have to be super accurate here just get it relatively close so we're going to line it up about so and then we're just going to take this up as high as it'll go then we're going to do the same thing on the other side and now what we're going to do is we're going to repeat that one more time and that should leave you with something that looks like this this should be big enough to hold it in there and give you plenty of room to do anything and everything you need to do inside this thing now we're going to go in and we're going to fill in each of the gaps between the pillars now you should have something that looks like this i'm going to fly up so you can get an above view there you go now what we're going to do is decide on where the front's going to be and since I'm pulling the y'all from that direction over there this is going to be my front so we're just going to come over here from the corner just a little bit and we are going to bring that in that may be a little too much I'm actually going to take that down a little bit what we want to do is create like a v shape at the end of this thing so we'll just knock that down I'll move over just a little bit more something like right about here and we are going to raise the ground and then we're going to do the same thing here on the other side so right about here and we'll just raise the ground all right it's not perfect but it'll do this is what you want this keeps the y'all from getting out the front now at this point we need to decide on what we're going to use to put across the top of this thing I recommend stone or black marble black marble has a ton of HP and it has really good stability so you can just grab one of these and place it right about there come over a little bit place another one come over a little bit more place it right about there like so and then we're going to attempt to get one more right there and then we want two on the front just just to kind of make sure it can't slip out the front of this thing so something like that and then what you want to do is take the little uh, one by one blocks and look at the front and make sure you have plenty of them in your inventory and then you're just gonna stack them really quick until you get over to the other side then those should not fall they should be nice and sturdy and we're gonna do the same thing to the rest of these all right and there we go and if we take a look you can see they're not gonna fall they're nice and supported and we're good to go there now the next thing you need to do is we're gonna carve out the bottom this is going to allow the ticks to fall down and kind of group up in the bottom and it's going to give us a chance to just kind of shave the walls down just a little bit and make things a little bit more nice. We want to leave an area for the ticks to climb up out of that way we can funnel them out the back and I'm a little close to the shore here so unfortunately I'm not going to be able to go super deep but we'll go as deep as we can. So and now when we get to the back what we want to do is kind of carve out a little area that makes it easy for the ticks to get out the side so I'm just going to do that real quick we're just going to do something like this that should allow them to funnel out the side here because what we're going to do is raise a pillar right here and that will trap the y'all you want to make this as deep as you can get it you don't want to have to go all the way down you still want to have an area where the ticks can climb up out that's super important because what's going to happen is we're going to be standing over here they're not going to be able to get out over in this direction and it's going to cause them to pull up down here in the bottom which is what you want them to do and then when you are ready to farm them you come around to this side over here and they will start to funnel out and then you can get rid of all of them and now I think we're good to go over here and get this y'all before you do this you want to make sure you have good stamina and you want to make sure you have some magic you also want to make sure you have the protection staff this is going to help ensure that you don't get killed upgrade it so you get a full two minutes and also make sure you have a stack of stone on you so that you can quickly raise the ground and trap the y'all so what we're going to do is we're going to go over here I'm going to wait till I hear it and then cast the protection bubble okay I can hear him I'm not sure where he's at oh I actually see him over there so we're gonna cast a protection bubble now I got lucky enough to not have a lot of mist here so we're good on that front you're gonna have a lot of mist probably in most cases so the protection bubble is gonna ensure that you don't get shot right away we're also going to take out this seeker over here because I don't want to deal with him okay he burnt away so that's good and we're gonna swap over to the harpoon and don't run at once you find it if you can help it you want to save as much of your stamina as possible all right we got him there I'm gonna see if I can hit him 
I've got him harpooned, so now we're just gonna grab him and we're gonna run. You want to sprint as fast as you can because that will pull him down. You want him to be pulled down. And uh, you can see there, he's pulled down nicely. And we're running low on stamina. I'm actually gonna let him go. I'm gonna let my stamina regen. And then we're gonna harpoon him again. And we're just going to make a run for it. And we're gonna yank him right in here like so. Oh, we lost some stamina, but he should come forward. All right, perfect, he came forward. Now we're gonna swap over to our hoe and we're just gonna run to the back quickly and build up. You can see he dropped some ticks there, but we should be fine. I'm gonna try to build up just a little more and then get down as quickly as you can. Because if you stay up there, he will damage the top and that is not what we want. So there we go, we got rid of the ticks. And you can see that was that was relatively easy, even though we had a mosquito. I don't even know where that went. He may have killed it. And now what you wanna do is just stand here. That's literally all you have to do. Use a shield to block his attacks or cast the bubble. Most of his attacks are going to miss, especially if you can get a little bit below him and wait until he gets a bunch of ticks down there below him. Once he does that, what you wanna do is just come over here. You grab your fire wand or the whatever it's called, wand of embers, and you can see the ticks just come funneling out. Try to get them grouped up nicely. Just blow them up and if you have a bunch of them you can just kind of set here and hit them as they're coming out be careful you don't hit your y'all and you can see here he can't hit us from over here because he can't see us he will only shoot at us if we are here and that's pretty much all there is to it you now have a tick farm and if anything happens to this y'all you are already close to a location where you know he respawns or it or she or whatever so if it does die or despawns or anything like that it's not a big deal because you can just wait till it respawns. All you have to do is come back over to the side here, knock down this pillar, go get your y'all, run it back in there, and put the pillar back up there again, and you're good to go. And then you can harvest all the blood clots you need for all of the mushrooms that you could ever want. All right, and that is going to wrap it up for this one. Hopefully you found this video helpful and informational. If you did, consider hitting the subscribe button and the notification bell so you can be notified when I upload other Valheim videos. And if you want to see another awesome guide, you can check that out on the screen right now. I want to give an absolute massive shout out and thank you to all of my channel supporters for helping to keep these videos a sponsor free. You all are absolutely amazing people. If you would like to become an official channel supporter, check out the links in the description below. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a comment down below. Let me know what you thought. If you're shy, you don't like to comment, just hit that thumbs up button and share your support. Until next time, thanks for watching.